All right, so today we got something unusual. It's called the Odin World's First Projection Mouse. I don't have a problem with my mouse or trackpad or anything like that, but sometimes I'm just looking around and I'm like, there's some new tech right there. Maybe it's interesting. I'm not really sure. I gotta check it out. I gotta find out more importantly if it's any good or if it sucks. So the world's first projection mouse, let's find out together. It's from a company I haven't heard of called Seraphim. My first time using one, your first time seeing one. It kind of looks like a transformer as well. It's a good thing, I think. Maybe the advantage is it's small. Oh, it is very small, actually. Look at that thing. That's the mouse. Definitely transformer-like. Some red cutouts on the front, and then on the back is where the micro USB port is. So this end here is gonna plug in right over here. And supposedly what happens is this little guy sits in front of wherever you want your trackpad to be and then projects it onto the desk. So let's go ahead and grab this laptop here. Oh, wow. That dude booted up right away. Okay, so I have it plugged in now. And I don't know, I mean, what am I? Oh! All right, it's actually not bad. Ooh. Uh, I don't know, guys. Ugh. It's mostly, it's a precision thing. Like, it works, but... Ooh. I like how it makes a little clicking. Like, the dude winks when you click down. I mean, it's usable. It's hard to really compare it to a real trackpad. In what kind of scenario would you need something like this as opposed to a traditional mouse? I don't really know. And also the surface you're projecting onto is gonna make an impact to a certain extent because if it's a slick surface, you'll probably slide a little bit better than if it's a rough one. It just doesn't really have the precision for me. Ah! It's kind of frustrating to be honest. Now maybe if you went up here, kind of adjusted the sensitivity, you could maybe dial it in a little bit better. I don't know if it was slower, would it be? Yeah, I mean, it works. It's not as good as an actual trackpad. I mean, it would have to be quite good for it to be cool, in my opinion. It would have to be so such a substantial improvement that you would like to use it over whatever you have built in or over a standard mouse that costs a couple dollars. Is it cool? Yeah, of course, look at that. I mean, it's like a red laser. I mean, it looks incredibly cool. Like, you would want to try that, I'm sure. But uh, I don't want to really shut the guys down too much. After all, they claim it's a world's first. It's kind of interesting. I like new technology. Plus, it looks like a Transformer, so there's got to be points for that. It's claiming to be a mouse. It's claiming to displace this product that everybody's super familiar with. You have one on your desk, or maybe you have a trackpad. You're very familiar with it. It claims that it's going to displace that. It's calling itself a mouse. Yet, it doesn't do that job better than the other stuff that's already out there. So, I mean, I saw this on Amazon. I was skeptical, but of course, the only way to truly know is to order it and test it yourself. The thing is cool, right? I mean, it looks like a transformer. It's got to get cool points for that alone. But the question that you want answered is, does it suck? It probably does. If you bought this thing, you would probably be disappointed. You probably would hope that it would perform as well, but with the new tech. You let me know in the comments. My evaluation, it ain't that good. I'm gonna say it probably sucks. You tell me. That's what the comments are for. Merry Christmas. Oh yeah, right. This episode of Unbox Therapy has been sponsored by, oh my, that smells, there's something nice in there. Sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. Shave time, shave money. I think they're trying to send me a message here. Hey, they're trying to trim up Uncle Lou for the holiday season. There's something new. They got shampoo now. So it's not just razors. Now you can stay fresh over the holidays as well. Right now, you get the ver their very best razor, their top of the line razor for $1 right now. The links can be in the description, so go check that out. They're probably gonna make, ooh, I'm oh, I took off a few hairs there. That is, that's sharp. You know, they just wanna, they wanna make the ladies happy. Jack knows what I'm talking about. Man's clean shaven over there. Here you go, Jack. Citrus Hawaiian ginger cleanser. Woo! You got the shave butter, the post shave cream, sage and black pepper, hydrating. Ooh, Jack Attack's gonna like that. And they also got the body bar. Okay, so you get that. You get that in the mail, it's simple. You got no excuses, all right? You're using the cheap stuff right now. You smell terrible. You got a giant beard like this and Dollar Shave Club is gonna try to fix that up for you. What's your excuse? You got a dollar, you know you got a dollar. The link's gonna be down in the description. I wanna thank them for sponsoring this holiday episode. Stay fresh, get the respect. It all starts here. Citrus, Hawaiian, ginger, 
post-shave cream. You're gonna see an all-new me in the new year.